Good morning, children. Welcome to social class. So, in social, we are learning the seventeenth block, which is the Tar Desert, isn't it, children? And yesterday we have learned the location and the climate of the desert region, isn't it, children? The climate is very hot in desert. Yes, it is very hot in the day and very cold in the night. And we have two types of deserts, which are hot desert and cold desert. Hot desert, it is covered with sand, and cold desert. It is covered with snow, isn't it, children? And also in the world map, we have learned the locations of different deserts, isn't it? I hope you have practiced the location of the deserts, all the deserts, all the eleven deserts we have. You have to practice to point those desert on the world map, children. Okay. Now in the second topic, we are going to learn about the people of the desert. Okay, so please open your social content books, children, and turn to page number one hundred and seven, one zero seven. Then you can see the picture of people traveling on the camel, isn't it, children? Yes. So today, turn the page, children, page number one hundred and eight. So today we are going to learn about the people who live in Arabian desert. Okay, can you see here, children, Arabian desert, the number six. Yes, there. So there, there is. We are learning about the people who live in this desert. Desert, okay. And this Arabian desert is located in the West Asia, in Saudi Arabia, okay. And this area is completely covered with sand, okay. It has high and low sand dunes. Sand dunes are nothing but it is like a mountain-like thing with the sand. Okay, in the glossary you can see a narrow hill of sand made of wind, made by wind. That means because of the wind, the sand will be moving, isn't it? Because of that, it starts becoming like a hill, like a small mountain. Okay, that is sand dunes. Okay, and it has lowlands and barren hills. Okay, and this receives very less rainfall. Yes, and the nights are very Cold and days very hot and dry, okay. And also, and sometimes you can also see the sandstorms, okay, children. So this is about the region. Now coming to the people who live in this region. For many years, there was a tribe called Bedouins. So the tribe, tribal people who live in this region are called Bedouin tribes, okay. And these people are living in this region for many years. Okay, so they are nomads who move from one place to another in search of food and water. Okay, and they live in tents like this. Okay, so in this way they build a tent for themselves so that they live in. And this tent is made of skin of dead camel. Okay, it's a camel skin, or sometimes they also use a cloth called canvas. Okay, children, and these tents they carry when they are moving from one place to another. That means they build the tent after at the time they are moving, they'll just remove or remove the tent, fold it nicely, and they carry from one place to another. And when they are traveling, they travel on the camels or in the caravans. Nowadays they are preferring caravans, but before it was animals. That is camel. Okay, and the food they eat is they eat meat. Okay, and also a dry bread called cobs and dates. These dates they get from the palm trees, where trees palm trees are, uh, in, are grown in the desert region. So from those trees they get those dates. Okay, so in this way they travel. Move from one place to another in search of food and water. And where do they get water? They collect the water, or they search for the oasis. You know, oasis, isn't it, children? Oasis is a small water body which is found in the desert. Yes, and around that, surrounding that oasis, you can see the palm plants, palm palm trees. Yes, so they take, they collect the water from that, and also they try to rest under that. Palm trees, okay. And if you see the soil of this desert region, children, it is hot and the soil is very, very dry, in which we cannot grow the crops. It is not good for the farming for growing crops. But nowadays, people are growing some 
plant some crops like which re requires very less amount of water they are trying to do the farming which requires very less amount of water like wheat pulses barley all these they are preferring to grow but but near to the oasis so that that little amount their amount of water which they have to use for farming they can get from the oasis okay children so that is about the farming in this region and how do they earn their live livelihood is they keep the cattle that is the goats sheep camels so, so they sell the milk or milk products or the wool from the sheep and earn their live livelihood okay and nowadays most people have shifted to cities where they need not to move from one place to another they can settle down in one place and they can search for any job or any work so that they don't need to wander one place to another okay so they sell the carpets rugs and some people started doing the pottery work also so that they can earn their live life okay children so this is about the people who live in the arabian desert okay so for this topic i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them and write it in your class work along with that read the read the page number 108 from your content book so that you'll understand more you'll try to you can remember for the points from this topic okay and also underline the keyword so that you can understand the meaning of the keyword and also the spelling of the keyword okay now coming to the question answers what are the problems to nomads living in the desert face they have less water they have to move from one place to another in search of food that is the main problem isn't it children we cannot survive with the without water and food yes so nomads are unable to stay in one place as they have to look for food and water and also it is difficult for them to carry all those heavy tents and other things every time when they move so finding water in the desert is also a big task isn't it children that is also a very difficult thing so write this answer in your classwork and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 6 s2 life in a desert okay tomorrow we will learn the vegetation and wildlife of the desert okay vegetation is nothing but the plants what are the plants we can see in the desert and what are the different wild animals we can see in the desert Okay children so see you in the next class bye